My name is Krishna, and I have a story to tell. My father is a lively person like no other. He likes to challenge nearly everything. The only thing he always struggled with was his health. For years, he often had a cough and seasonal flu. He always used to take his regular antibiotics to cure seasonal cough and fever. I thought like any other day, my father would recover after taking the antibiotics. But this time, his health was getting worse every day. So mom and I decided to take him to the civil hospital for his treatment. Unfortunately, he was diagnosed with pneumonia. Days passed, but my father was still in the same condition. The doctor told us that the antibiotic prescribed by him is not working on my father because, for years, my father has taken too many of them, often for the flu or the common cold, for which they do not even work. Unfortunately, the overuse and misuse of antibiotics made bacteria grow stronger and resistant to antibiotics, resulting in antibiotic-resistant infection. And the bacteria which are not responding to any of the antibiotics are called superbugs. Initial research, looking only at part of the impact of antimicrobial resistance, shows that a continued rise in resistance by 2050 would lead to 10 million people dying every year, and a reduction of 2% to 3.5% in gross domestic product. It would cost the world up to 100 trillion USD. If the problem of antimicrobial drug resistance is not tackled today, The doctor explained that most of the patients do not complete the antibiotic dose prescribed by the doctor after they start feeling well, or they use the drug of their own choice available at home. It makes bacteria grow stronger. Similarly, the animals are also treated with antibiotics as well as used as fertilizer for plants. From animals, the antibiotics enter into the meat and milk and migrate back to humans, resulting in more resistant infections. The doctor also told us that by following a few simple rules, we could prevent this crisis. Number one, we should only take antibiotics when we have a prescription, and we should complete the dose as per instructions. Number two, we should stop using antibiotics for minor ailments like sneezing and coughing. Number three, to dispose of unused antibiotics, we should mix them with an unpalatable substance, such as coffee grounds or kidney litter, and should be disposed of in a sealed container. Number four, good hygiene should be maintained to decrease the chance of any kind of infection in the first place. Hand washing should be practiced promptly to reduce contamination. Number five, vaccination should be prioritized both for humans and animals. Number six, eat meat and use milk that says antibiotic free. By doing these simple things in day-to-day -day life, we can avoid the future risk of antimicrobial resistance. One day, the doctor announced that my father would live. Thankfully, another antibiotic prescribed by the doctor worked, and my father recovered from his infection in a few weeks. That could have killed him. It was a day to celebrate. Me and my family learned a big lesson that day. Let's fight the superbugs together and share information with our family, friends, and near ones. 